Of course he's going to make that shot. He did set an NBA record scoring 37 points in just 20 minutes. What a feed inside by a couple of former Clippers. Chris Paul to Shea Gilgis. He's made in his three games played. Turnover Clippers. You know there's going to be a lot of energy for Oklahoma City with three former Clippers going up against their former employer. Chris Paul. He can use his limb. Beverly stonewalled by Gallo, flings it to Zoo for three. He's been working on that shot in the offseason. It doesn't go on his first attempt of the season. Clippers four, three for three. Tries to go four for four. Once a whistle, which is why he shot that. Exactly. He, he thought he had a foul coming right there. That's why he shot kind of the ill-advised three-point shot there. And putting length on Chris Paul in the opening quarter gets around heartless and finds a wide open Steven Adams One thing you know about Chris Paul is no matter where you Billy Crystal did your job for a game last year. Did you know that I did I actually watched that he was he was fantastic He really was a whistle and a foul. It, I wasn't surprised at all And here's the thing that I worked so well the first couple of weeks of the season Scoreless second quarter so far, second possession for Oklahoma City, and there's our first bucket. And we know that Chris Paul anytime is for the Clippers. Chris Paul kind of brought them to prominence, getting them into the playoffs for six consecutive years. Gallo and Shea did it last year. Unfortunately, to get something in the NBA, you got to give up something, and they had to give six nine. You can get a bucket on anybody. Go ahead and get that bucket right here. Chris Paul comes back and kind of leaves his calling card, knocks down the mid-range jumper. Chris, six points, a couple of Nader gets the long rebound. Air mails everything and a flat-footed Pat Beverly comes out of the scrum with a loose ball. Chris Paul trying to draw the foul and Paul George in transition. He's so clever at doing that, doesn't get the whistle. Runs into Paul George there and ultimately lead the game in rebounding. He did that in game seven in 2012 against Memphis in a series defined by rebounding. The giveaway for the Clippers, their second in a row. There he is. Right. And there again, Harkless guarding Chris Paul. Oh. Man, got away with a bit of a hook there. Finds an open Beverly for three. A running rebound for Chris Paul. Gallo. Puts an elbow into the face of, to the break. Two-man game with Chris Paul and Danilo Gallinari. You look at Chris Paul, ran two pick and rolls to get the matchup he wanted with Lou Will at the end of the season. Okay, they, they really didn't know what they had. So, with that being said, if I'm Shea, I'm taking every piece of advice that I could possibly give to Chris Paul. That was a nice call on that travel right there, Chris. Zoo goes belly to belly with his counterpart for Oklahoma City. Chris down the lane goes right back to Adams who leaves it in. And again, you, you talk about Chris getting to that right hand. He did an incredible job a couple of nights ago against Atlanta, capitalizing off of their miscues. Heartless Stonewall throws it away. The two teams swap turnovers again. Gilgis Alexander air balls. It gets a second crack at Tino that went to Toronto. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And then when you went back to Boston, how did you do? Uh, I played well. I played well. The thing is, when I got traded at that time, I didn't get the juggles. Patterson picks up the loose ball. Zubac just battling inside, trying to keep it alive. Pull up three for Chris Paul. Paul gets the mismatch that he is. Dominated so many times in his career. Gets a guard at three. What defense by Zoo. But it leaves the open in the middle open. Thunder two for two to start this fourth quarter. They regain the lead. And I look for Paul George to be aggressive here. So the fourth quarter. I look for him to try to be very aggressive. Whether it's Stephen Adams. Nice find right there by Paul George. Fourth assist for George. Paul inside. No. Two-handed rebound by Jermichael Green. Blocked from the hand by Montrez. Paul George on the prowl. A whistle and a foul that slows the break. 
Again, late in the clock. Lou moves to his right. Air ball, whistle, loose foul, loose ball foul against Oak. Montrez tries to bat it up and in, tries to keep it alive and nearly does. So a lot of opportunities for Oak, for the Clippers, but unable to cash in. A blocking foul will be called. Azores catch and shoot, being shot ready, but what a pass right there by Montrez Hill. Paul down the lane and down the hatch it goes. His own park place and midway through the fourth, they lead by three. Turnover coming out of the timeout. Here comes Chris Paul. A contested mid-range shot misses everything. Great defense by Montrez Hero. Potato over and he makes the right play. Clippers match their largest lead of six. 5.20 to play. Whistle and a foul on the floor. It'll be the second against the Clippers over there because he's so special but it opens up Montrez to be able to get those tipping exactly both times they've done it in this fourth quarter Trez has been there for the rebound that time he gets rewarded a whistle foul on the floor Chris Paul watched by Paul George late in the clock flings a three for the lead no and the rebound tipped out second How about the pass right there through the legs by Lou Will 28 points for Montrez Harrell. Gallo for three. We are tied. The background. Paul George flirts with the defense. Stripped by Chris Paul. Paul theatrics.